never occurred to me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so you can imagine with this, with this live by example, I was always um, considered by all of my friends growing up to be, well, I like the expression fiscally responsible. <laughs> it sounds so much much better than, than cheap. <laughs> ironic part is that is that mom thinks that I'm a spendaholic. You know, because because in her day, you know, she would go to one, maybe two movies per year. Other, other you know, anything more than that is like extremely decadent. So um, you know, once I went to a movie one weekend and then the next weekend I went to a different movie and, and mom she went up to um, where's Paul and Sue here? She went up to uh, my good friend Paul and asked him very seriously if if um, if I was, uh, in order to feed my movie habit, if I was uh, dealing drugs. Cold tablets. <laughs> anyway, it wasn't until I was uh, much older until I began to appreciate that mom had, um, had no qualms about um, enjoying her, her prosperity. It's just, it just that she had her own, her own set of priorities. I remember once complaining to her when I was uh, still living at home. I said, how come our family gets to, never gets to go to McDonald's or gets takeout when all my other friends get this? And, and Mom said, you know, quite, quite rightly, well, we go to concerts, we go to the symphony, we go skiing for a week. We've been traveling across the country twice. You know, it's, it's just a different, different way of looking at things and a different way of um, prioritizing things. So as, as you probably know, travel has always been a huge passion and a, and a priority for Mom. Uh, before, before Brian and I came around, um, Mom and Dad visited a different Caribbean island every single year, which I thought was really cool. I just found out about that, that a number of years ago. Um, and then um, once we were old enough, Brian and I were old enough to sort of look after ourselves. That was in our, in our mid-30s, I think. <laughs> um, and, um, Mom and Dad started traveling to all over the place, so you, you probably are aware of some of the places that that, uh, that Mom's visited, but you know, from Panama to Alaska, all over North America, Australia, Greece, Europe, two trips to Israel, China, Russia, South Africa, India, Morocco, <laughs> Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand. One one time, I returned uh, home to visit um, from school um, after Mom and Dad had just just returned from Turkey. And uh, as I walked into the living room, Mum greeted me by saying, remember your inheritance? Well, you're walking on it. <laughs> so, it, it seemed that when, when, when Mum and Dad were over in Turkey, they, the tour group had an option. We had an option of either visiting the Turkish Railway Museum or a carpet factory. So you can probably guess, Dad went to check out some old cross ties. <laughs> and, uh, so mom wandered into this into this uh, carpet factory and, uh, and and bought a, a beautiful handwoven carpet. Um, 